Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. All right, people. This is an interesting little article here that's on Boxing Scene. So it's from a recent interview. They're quoting David Price. From a recent interview he gave with ID Boxing. Now, David Price, we all know David Price. A, one of the most entertaining heavyweights to watch. You know, a great guy outside the ring, but in the ring, with him, it was either he knocks the guy out or he gets knocked out. It was always a joy to watch him. But as an analyst, David Price has done a bit of punditry work at BT. He's done a bit of work with Sky Sports back in the day. And I always found David Price, as a boxing analyst and as a boxing pundit, if you take the jacket out of the equation, he was always fantastic. Always rated David Price very, very highly as a pundit, as an as and an analyst. Bit of a tongue twister there. So I'm going to just talk through this article real quick here. So he's talking about this fight, and he feels he's actually predicting Tyson Fury to win this fight by fighting a big man fight against Alexander Usyk. I quote him here: When Joshua put Usyk on the back foot and tried to use his size instead of standing and trying to have a bit of a chess match, he drained Usyk. I felt in the second fight. What Tyson Fury does better than anyone is use his size to his advantage. That's one of his biggest strengths. Watching him against Chisora, he, he towered of Chisora, of Derek Chisora. Now I'm a little bit taller than Fury, and he is. Even though Fury's built, just to interrupt here, at 6'9", David Price looked bigger. A little, maybe an inch or so bigger. But I gave away my height when I boxed a little bit. The contest is set to take place in the first half of the year, blah, 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 blah. He says here, Fury is an expert at being the big man. And I just think he'll big man Usyk. I think he'll lean all over him. He will fight a dirty fight. And I think he'll win a bit of a scruffy fight. I think it'll be Fury win on points, end quote. All right, so that's what David Price had to say on this Fury Usyk fight. And, you know, David Price... I've said this once, I'll say it again. He's a very good analyst and a very good pundit. And if you look, actually, if you go by some of the picks he's made over the years, he is one of the very few, well, few things. He's one of very few pundits who keeps it objective. You know, you very seldom see that a lot of the time in boxing. A lot of the time in boxing, pundits, if they're told and put on the spot, if they're with a certain promoter or if they're with a particular network, they tend to favor and even if this fighter loses i'm just going to use an example they tend to favor the home fighter even if they lose and say oh there was external factors whereas david price has always been one who just says it like it is and he's got a very good record in terms of his picks very good record now what he was saying about tyson fury fighting the big man fight i suspect that's what he will do i think that if you look at fury over the last couple of years i think that he's developed very well under Sugar Hill Stewart, the Kronk style, I think it was more out of necessity he needed to do that style and take that style on. Because I genuinely don't think Fury has the legs to be able to box like he did against Klitschko anymore. I think that if Tyson Fury ever tried to emulate what he did that night in Dusseldorf against Klitschko, I don't think his body physically would be able to do it. I think that in order to do that, he'd need to be in the 240s. He's never going to get back down to that weight again. I think that safely anyway... I just, I think the damage he's done, especially with his period of inactivity, I think that's taken the legs a little bit away from Tyson Fury. And I think he's learning how to use the other attributes to his game. And he's, and you see that with Sugar Hill. Every single fight you see him, you see something new being added to his game, which he needs. And I think it's given him longevity, truth be told. Against Alexander Usyk, he is going to need to fight a big man fight against Usyk because Usyk's speed, his movement his extra mobility, it's all going to play factors. It's all going to wreak havoc with Tyson Fury. You know, you look at Chisora, as slow as Chisora is, he was able to get inside at times on Tyson Fury. He was able to get under some of Fury's shots. You don't think Alexander Usyk can do that too? And he certainly can. And I think Fury is going to really, it's going to be drilled into him to fight a big man's fight. And I think that's what he's going to do. I think the way David Price said it there it's pretty much how I see the Fury Usyk fight going to go. It might be scruffy, it might be messy, and it might be a fight that we talk about after and say, did he have to do it like that? And in many ways, you probably say, yeah, he did. Because, you know, Joshua 
Joshua never fought a real big man's fight with Usyk. There was moments when he did try, but he never really asserted his authority on Usyk. He never did in either fight. Even saying he wouldn't, the second he never did. Fury is cut from different letter to Anthony Joshua. He's a different type of character. If he sees a fight is slipping away from him, he's going to grab the bull by the horn and try and take it. Fury is the sort of guy where, although he's never lost, I think if he was ever in that situation, he'd go out on his shield. Now with Joshua, Joshua has gone out. He's gone out on the shield before against Ruiz. But I think that if he's in a situation where he knows, okay, I'm not winning this fight, he's not really going to try and go for me. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave it. And I think that's how he was against Usyk. I don't think Fury will be like that. So long-winded one. But I agree with David Price. I think he made a very good assessment of the situation. And it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to this fight being announced. I can't wait. Hopefully soon. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with David Price and you think Fury will just fight a big man fight? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video, people. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. For now, I'll talk to you. Peace.